Hello world and grace to you. Today I I got some mail. And then get in my mail. I got this uh, Yulanzi. At least that's how I think it's pronounced. SC. I'm assuming that's a zero to uh, camera suction cup mount. So we are going to unbox it. And I feel like a YouTuber because I got this. Am I a YouTuber now guys? I can like open the package as you guys can see. We have our top down camera. Also, I have a new um, sort of mouse pad mat. I don't know what this is called. But yeah, you can obviously see my laptop right there. So but we will open up this knife. I did not know how to open it. Just gonna you know, cut into the plastic like I'm a pro. Come on, yeah. I don't need this anymore. So we can just close that. <laughs> Get rid of all this plastic. Um, so one more thing that did uh, come with this um, the Ulanzi suction cup mount was this, which is basically uh, the mount for the GoPro. I'm gonna see it on the better camera, maybe it'll show up better. All right, and this is the ASMR noise. So it does have that option. I did purchase this because I already have this, which is what I use for my, um, I almost said GoPro, but my, I'm looking at the box, DJI Osmo Action 4 Adventure Combo. I also purchased this as well. And this has been awesome. And I was like, you know what? I want one for my camera on which I'm filming on. And so that's what I ordered this for. So I did see some reviews. Uh, there are both positive and negative reviews on this. So what I'm about to say, and we're gonna you know, give this a little test as well. What I'm gonna say about this is probably not very useful. You know, take it with a grain of salt because uh, some people praised it. Some people completely did the opposite of praising it. It comes with this little carrying bag, Yulanzi, right? So we get that first. And then as soon as we open up that and we remove the bag, here is the mount, which was kind of confusing for me because people said about the mount that it was like only one arm and it wasn't usable. But this definitely seems like uh, you can put other ports in in any way you like. So if the arm does break, uh, which is right here, I'm pretty sure you can just get another arm. It's about if the suction cup actually works, right? Will the suction actually function as it should? So over here, this is how it uh, functions, right? When you press this in, apparently, when you push it in like that, when it's on a, apparently a clean, smooth surface, it'll create like a vacuum. And the more you press it, the red line will then eventually vanish and you can't really press it anymore. After that, um, that's basically when you know you have a Loctite suction with this. So it seems seems like pretty good material. Um, it's rubber and uh, feels like metal. This, this is plastic, but the rest of it feels like metal and decent rubber. And I don't see why there would be a problem with this. This is definitely good. On the other hand, I don't know if this is good. Qualified certificate. So this is a certificate that tells you guys that I'm qualified to give you guys this content. From Yulanzi, they've qualified it. And this is the arm, which I mean, they're saying is cheap. People have claimed that this part has broken off and I guess I could kind of see how that, sorry about the mic. People have claimed that this part has broken off um, inside the, there's even pictures. I'm wondering, cause it feels pretty solid compared to this one. I mean, I guess this one is a little bit thicker. If you see inside the handles, let's see this camera. This one does seem a little bit thicker and shorter so i guess it's probably more stronger while this is a longer arm but it didn't break at the arm it broke right here where it sort of separates and it looks like maybe a little adhesive like you know a little glue might help get it back to where it should be but in either case as we have it up to the camera for you guys can uh, appreciate this view a little bit better so hopefully we're gonna get this going we're gonna i don't know if we should use the camera right now that's on there or if we should start off with a lighter guy right because my little fuji film with 18 millimeter on there this is a light packaging you know what? Let me get my scale and we're going to weigh this camera versus ta that camera and see if there is a significant difference. So let's do that. I did forget to unbox a certain part that I did not see. That's, you know, here's the <laughs> Allen wrench that came with it. And this is, I'm assuming, uh, the piece that goes on top of here, which should make this like um, easy clip on. But let's uh, pull that knife out again. I'm such a dangerous man. Oh, I'm definitely gonna cut myself. I definitely don't use knives. Actually got this knife from a friend. He bought it and was supposed to take it home, but the airplane wouldn't allow him to take it home, so he left it with me. We don't need the knife anymore. Hit the button, close it. This is my merch, guys. I'm gonna put my name right across Matthew Vlogs, and you guys can purchase that. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm gonna assume that, you know, you're gonna screw in this with the Allen wrench right on top of there, something like that, right? And then this should just probably slide on. And then over here we have this little, what appears to be a lever to lock it in place somehow, some way, so that you can get it to function the way you'd want it to. But yeah, let's, let's, let's get the scale. Let's weigh these cameras and then let's go outside. Let's give it a shot. There might be a dip in audio and video as I am in the kitchen of my house using the Action 4. Um, but we have this set up here, have the cameras here. This is a food scale. I'm assuming it works the same way. I have it set to grams. The Fuji film with a battery in there. I don't think that there's a memory card, but I don't really think it matters. Uh, we got the 18 millimeter F2 on there, 594 grams. And compared to the Lumix S52, we have the Sigma 20 millimeter lens in there. I have the doors open. Look at that, 1105 grams. So the Fuji is significantly lighter. I do want to give the Fuji a, a, a shot because it, it would really be good to, uh, to use it more often. But also the battery is dead and I want to use it now. So we're probably going to use the Lumix and hopefully the Lumix will hold. But if not, I'm assuming the Fuji will hold since people have claimed to use a, a um, Sony A7S III, which is uh, a fairly sizable camera. Should be something similar to this. Um, at least I think so. We are in the Fiat, guys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, son, you gotta hold the camera. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it on the window. And uh, we're just gonna go up against the window. And we're gonna... No, nope, that's not working. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe you're not pushing it enough on the window. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's so difficult to do that. <laughs> so now we just keep pumping. Get close to show the pumping action. Are you see how the red line is gone, guys? Can't see it no more. So I'm gonna, I wanna put this like in the most relaxed position as possible. It's gonna be something like this. Normally people wanna connect their camera like this, but I see one guy connect his camera like this. So we're gonna try this because I don't have any other way to do this. So we're gonna press record. It kinda understands me. It's like sees me, but it's not seeing my face perfectly. And I think it's probably cause it's upside down. It kinda recognizes that I'm here. So we're gonna test the autofocus. We're gonna see how this holds up. And uh, I'm gonna drive. So we are now on the Lumix S52 guys. We are on the Sigma F2 lens, and we are in the Fiat. Sandy? Yes. We're gonna have to stop recording with this one. I need you to keep your hands here just in case that falls. And as I was saying, I bring in Sandy for the ride so that she could be a catcher of the camera. If it falls, hopefully it will not fall. Although I don't really like the way that it is connected to the windshield, it seems like it's not that strong but as of right now it's holding it now i'm not planning to use this on the outside of the car i just want to have it on the inside of the car the gopro well see i, I said again the action 4 with that one i've used on the outside of the car and it seems to work so i might use that one from time to time but even then i don't really technically have to i can just have it as a second angle pointed out the window just to make you know give it a little bit more cooler angles but right now we're doing about 20 miles an hour and all is well so the car in sport take the traction control off it looks like it's shaking pretty bad i mean hopefully it's translating okay in video i know i've seen somebody review this product and it looked okay i don't know what kind of camera he had but he had a pretty expensive uh, camera setup so at least that was his claim he claimed that you know it was like a three four thousand dollar setup right now this is currently um, about a twenty-seven, twenty-eight hundred dollar setup. So real fast while there's no cars. Right? Let's see. Get ready to hold it, Sandy. Let's see if we can handle the. Can it handle the launch? It's handling it well. All right. That was zero to sixty, guys. Zero to sixty. How does it look, though? Is it is it majestic? Is the image quality. I have the 180 shutter rule on right now for video. Is it majestic? Is it amazing? Is the motion blur cinematic? 
<laughs> you guys can see out the window. How does that look? Does that look good? <laughs> but yeah, so now I got everything I need. I don't think you have to worry about holding it. It held up against 60 miles per hour just now, and you know I, I, I floored it. I don't think I would leave it for a long period of time though. Maybe the longest I would leave it is like half hour. I wouldn't go past that. But I am gonna probably use this for vlogging when I wanna use my camera and I wanna drive around and probably most likely am going to use it for when I do a proper review on this car. So that is definitely upcoming. That should be coming sooner than later now that I kind of have everything. I got my hat and my t-shirt. I got the rig all set up. I got a couple of different camera angles to use, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review of the Ulanzi Zero SC02. And um, yeah, to me it seems like it's okay. Uh, at least for this use, it seems like it's fine. Many people have enjoyed it. Many people have complained on it, as I've told you earlier. Um, so take this video with a grain of salt and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one with that. God bless and may grace be with you.